And when I do my alternative Belfast walking tour, the only tour that doesn't really talk about the Troubles or the Titanic, my tour is about rock and roll in Belfast. And this is a bar called the Duke of York, which is a very famous bar. Uh, it was bombed in 1973, but this is the bar where uh, Snow Patrol played their very first gig to about 30 people. And we have now got on the wall a plaque. This is the sort of mural that you would see on my walking tour. For instance, this is Gary Lightbody, lead singer of Snow Patrol. This is meant to be me. This is a, like a scurry Halloween mask. Rory Gallagher was born in, uh, in, in Donegal, but he, his career really took off when he started playing in the Maritime in Belfast. And this is Ruby Murray. And she has more hit records in the charts than anybody else. Uh, more compared to the Beatles, more compared to Elvis, or Frank Sinatra, or anybody. She had more hit records. I uh, just from the Donegal Road in Belfast. Here we are in Exchange Place. This is uh, where we recorded Teenage Kicks, the legendary single by The Undertones. All the record companies told me the record was terrible. I left copies into John Peel came home, and then on the Monday night, John Peel played the record twice. He played it, and he said, not the most wonderful record ever, and he played it again, and the band were signed up on a Thursday, and the rest is history. During the Troubles, all the venues closed down. In fact, Belfast City Centre, there was a ring of steel around it. And this is one of the new venues. This is the Black Box, it's a great venue, and it's not too big. And it's got a cafe, it's got art exhibitions, and it's terrific. But here was where we had the Heart Bar, which was a terrible venue. Shane McGowan out of the Pogues played his first ever gig in Ireland, but he's in a band called the Nipple Erectors here. Belfast has come on leaps and bounds in the last 10 years. And one of the great things we have now in Belfast is the OEM oh yeah Music Centre. So let's go in and have a look. Here we are inside the OEM oh yeah Music Centre. It is also a live venue. It is an exhibition space, but it's also got a recording studio upstairs. It's got a rehearsal space for bands. Years ago, we would have only dreamt of having a place of our own like this. So we have a very rich musical heritage here. This is one of my dear friends, uh, Francie McPeak. Uh, this is Derek Bell out of a very famous band, a great man, I loved him dearly. The Chieftains, that's all part of our folk heritage. Here we are outside the Max Centre, which is a, one of the new art centres in Belfast. It cost £18 million to set up. And uh, they put on gigs, they put on performance art, they put on exhibitions and lots of stuff. And they have a wonderful cafe, I believe. Belfast is the city I was born in. Belfast is the city that I'm so proud to live in. I have no, I'd never want to live anywhere else. I call it the centre of the universe because it's the centre of my universe. I get invited to 300 gigs every week in Belfast. There's plenty to do, especially for young people. It's just an exciting city. It's a small city and the, and the people are friendly. And I love the people, so I do. And why would I want to live anywhere else in the world? All we could do is sometimes is some better weather.